training for a League Cup game in Relizan, west of the Algerian capital. The Afak Relizan women's team was launched in 1997 during the country's civil war, back when armed Islamists prohibited all women's sports. But the team's coach and its players refused to be intimidated. I had a conversation with the players to ask them if they wanted to keep playing in spite of the threat. They decided to play on. They said if women took up arms during the war for independence, so could they. They wanted to fight that threat and keep playing. 26-year-old Fatia also plays for the national team, like five of the club's other players. The war may be over, but she says they still face social stigma in the conservative yet football-mad North African country. Everywhere in Algeria, people have a problem with women playing football. Sometimes when we're playing away and they see us in our football jerseys, they curse and insult us. But others are curious and ask questions, like here in Relizan. They tell us that our success brings them pride, more than the men's team. Some of the girls succumb to pressure to hang up their boots after marriage, but others are determined to play on. They tell us, why don't you get married? Why aren't you in the kitchen? A woman is made to stay in the kitchen. But I'm just playing football. I'm not doing anything wrong. Their words can't hurt me. I know I'm not doing anything wrong in the eyes of God. In recent years, the club's women's team has won multiple domestic and regional tournaments. Despite their runaway success, the players are unpaid and the club helps them find work on the side. They're awarded only $12 for every game won and few locals travel to games. The squad also has no sponsor or external financing, surviving only on passion for the beautiful game.